Hey, welcome to our continuing instruction on how to serve Mass. In this video, I'm going to show you how and when to ring the bells, and that's only for the cross position, okay? So we've got the kneeling that's going on during the Eucharistic prayer, okay? And there's two times when you need to ring the bells. Um, those two times are when the priest holds up the post and when the priest holds up the chalice. It's the words of consecration. And the reason why you're ringing the bells is it's like a way to wake up everybody just in case like maybe people are dreaming off or something like that. And we're trying to say, hey, everybody, this is an important part of Mass. Bread and wine have just become the body and blood of Christ. This is an important time to pray. Well, that's why we ring bells. It's kind of like a little alert system. Okay? So the one who needs to worry about it is the cross position. So it's just like this. And here's when you need to do it. All right. The priest is up here saying Mass. You servers are back there. You're still doing kneeling just like you've always been doing. Okay. And then there comes a time in the Mass where the priest picks up the host. Okay. And he's going to bend over a little bit. And he's going to say the words of consecration. I don't want to say them right now because if I did... I consecrate a host, okay? This is just an instruction video, okay? Nothing more. But he's going to say the words of consecration, and when he does, he's going to lift the host up high. All right, you got that? When the priest lifts up the host, and as soon as he lifts up the host, if you're cross position, you take those bells and you just give them three rings. You want to give us three rings? That's all you have to do. The exact same thing, though, is going to happen in just a minute when the priest takes the chalice. He's going to say the words of consecration over the chalice. Again, picks up the chalice, bows just a little bit, says the words of consecration, lifts the chalice up, and when he does, you hit the bells three times, just like this. Okay? That's all you have to do. He's going to put the chalice back down, he's going to genuflect, and continue on with the Mass. I'm Father Hutchins, and I just showed you how and when to ring the bells at Mass.